All right, you've probably seen the B-roll. Let's get to the video then. If you are familiar with my channel, you might remember my previous video where I use Google Assistant to turn on my PC. Today we are revisiting this topic because there have been some changes since then. First things first, let's make sure that Wake Online is turned on. To do this, open your network and internet settings, go to advanced and click on more options. A new window will appear with your ethernet adapter. Select it, go to the properties, then configure. On the advanced tab, you will find the wake on LAN settings that you will need to enable. Additionally, make sure you turn on the only allow magic packet to wake the computer option under the power management tab. If you can't find the wake on LAN settings, it usually means that you will need to access your motherboard's UEFI settings and enable it from there. I will show you how I do it on my ASUS motherboard, but keep in mind that your motherboard might have different UEFI settings. In my case, I navigate to the advanced settings, then APM configurations, and then enable the power on by PCIe setting. Now for some reason, Windows 11 on my system still doesn't show the wake on LAN setting, even after enabling it in the BIOS. However, I tested it by downloading the Wake Online app on my phone and executing it from there. I received many comments on my previous videos stating that this method only works when the PC is in sleep mode and not fully turned off or hibernating. And yes, that is true. So this is just a heads up if you had different plans in your mind. Anyhow, now that we confirm that this works, we can move on to the next step, which is downloading the MacroDroid app. This is the actual bit I had to create this updated video for. Once you have downloaded it, add a new macro, then tap on the little plus sign and search for webhook for the trigger. This will provide a URL which will trigger the whole sequence for this, and we can just give it a name, then select OK. For the action, search for UDP, and here we will need the PC's IP address and MAC address. To find these, open your network and internet settings again, click on Ethernet, and as you can see, you can find these here. Set the port value to either 7 or 9. You will need to test this one, which one works for you. And then here comes the tricky part, entering the MAC address. We have to start by typing 0x followed by 12 Fs. Without leaving any spaces, we need to enter our PC's MAC address 16 times. We also need to make sure not to include any hyphens. And I believe the easiest way to do this is to write down your MAC address, copy it, and then paste it here. I know this is a bit tedious, but we only have to set it up once and then we are good to go. After that, just click OK and save it by giving it a name. We can actually test this if it works by clicking on the test actions while the PC is in sleep mode. Now a small change since the last video is with the next step involving Google Assistant and IFTTT itself. First, let's make sure that IFTTT is linked to your Google account. Go to the Google Home app, tap on the settings tab, then select add device and works with Google. Search for IFTTT and follow the linking setup process. Once that's done, head over to the IFTTT website and create a new applet. Click on create, then search for Google Assistant. You will notice that this new version of Google Assistant requires an additional phrase for the trigger. And yes, we have to use it to make it work. However, I have a small trick if you don't want to use the phrase activate. But before that, let's give our scene a name that corresponds to activating the whole process and then select create trigger. After that, search for webhook and copy the URL provided in the MacroDroid app. Once you have done that, you can just save this applet and you are pretty much done. Let's test it out, shall we? Activate the beast. Pretty neat, isn't it? Now about that trick I mentioned earlier. If you don't want to use the phrase activate, you can set up a routine in Google Home app. Select automations, then add, then households. Type in the starter phrase that you would like to use. For example, I used the same sentences, but I worded it differently. After that, add an action by adding your own and type in the actual trigger phrase from IFTTT. In my case, it was the activate and then the name of my PC. This routine then will work with whatever word or phrase you have chosen. And this is how you turn on your PC using your voice. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this video serves as an updated version, but 
we will probably have to revisit this topic in the future as technology is always evolving. In the meantime, I have also updated another video where I demonstrate how you can use your voice to turn off your PC. And if you want to check that out, you just need to click here.